Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be talking about SAP s Embedded Analytics. In this context of this tutorial, I will be talking about what is s Embedded Analytics. Then I will be talking about the evolution of ERP and SAP s Then very importantly, I will be telling you about the model. How does the embedded analytics look like in s and then also I'll be giving you some of the description about the BDM and core data services. So after the tutorial, I believe you will be able to understand all the basic features about the embedded analytics in s So let me go with the next slides and I'll be briefing you everything about this tutorial. So in this part of the slide, I'll be telling you what is s embedded analytics. And if I divide this total thumb that s embedded analytics like the s in one area and the embedded analytics the other area like s is a part of the ERP module so which actually handles the all kinds of transactional data and the analytics is a part of analyzing the data so in the part of SAP HANA embedded analytics we are combining these two modules into one area so like in the below picture, so traditionally, you know, separate systems were used to meet the needs of transactional and analytic requirements. But in s it offers an integrated transactional and analytic data platform to process. So if I describe in the image below here, like we have the transactional data, if we're talking about this uh, left hand side, now uh, this LTP data transform into all of data then we have a separate analytics platform in order to analyze the data. But in SP, uh, SP HANA, what we do that this SAP HANA, so it uses the SAP HANA as database. So this transactional data, so it, uh, the, it, it has the capability that the OLAP and OLTP can store in one area that is SAP HANA and then analytics is integrated in a part of this whole module so that's why we are calling it so SAP HANA embedded analytics and so uh, due to this inbuilt analytics so it reduces the cost because it is on the same technical stack so overall process of the cost so is reduced so now in the next slide I'll be talking about the evolution of SAP ERP solution and s -Pahana. and just I'll be showing you the picture here like SAP introduced the first ERP in 1975 then slowly it has modified and increased some of the features and recently in 2015 so SAP have come up with the in-memory concept of SAP s -Pahana. now in the below picture here we are actually showing you how the s in terms of the uh, analytics, how does it come? Like in 2011, we can see that SAP HANA came into market, which actually provides the, uh, provide the in-memory platform you know, as the database, like all the transactional data come into and, and, uh, and capture in SAP HANA. And then slowly, the SAP BW warehouse powered by SAP HANA came into the next year, 2012. And after that, in 2015, we have the SAP s HANA so with the analytics capabilities. And also, after that, SAP introduced uh, like BW4 HANA. So that's a different part. But in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to cover the s HANA. So in the next slide, I will be now talking about the very importantly, the model. So that's the important part of this tutorial. So like in this uh, picture, I tried to explain you that like we have the database table, that is the uh, SAP HANA table. And what we do, we write the CDS view, that's the code data services that I'll be covering in the next slide. But here, like you can see that we are writing the CDS view and that is being fetched into the Fiori application. So Fiori is a part of the analytics. So we have the uh, the table database table that contains the all kinds of uh, all kind transactional data, and then we're writing the CDS views in order to paste the data from the table, and then we're actually uh, putting it into the Fiori application in order to have the 
uh, user experience. So that's part of the basic model. How does this embedded analytics look like in Espohana? So in the next slide, I'm gonna cover about the uh, the virtual data model and co-data services. So you might come up about these terms. So in any interview or if you are going to learn about this uh, subject, so that's very important to learn about these two terminologies. So I tried to explain in this basic picture. So what does these co-data services and virtual model seem like? Like CDS views are from a similar concept to above dictionary views. They provide predefined SQL queries to one or more database tables. And this allows for effectively and comfortably connecting to and accessing the data. So as I showed you in the picture, like you have the physical table in the SAP HANA database. Now you are writing the code data view. So it is kind of a SQL queries or it is, it is kind of a method by which you are actually connecting with the tables. You are accessing the data with the tables. So that whole, whole uh, logic is uh, written in CDS views. So, and very importantly that you have, to, you have to know that it is not like the HANA views that you write uh, in SAP HANA calculation views. So those are two different things. And this is based on the ABAP platform. Now, if you talk about the VDM, the virtual data model, a combination of semantically enriched views, serious views that logically combine data from the ERP tables to create meaningful database and that can be readily consumed in front end tools. So the VDM means it is a combination of various CDS views and that combines with various tables and provides you a complete set of meaningful data. And that model can be accessed in further Fury application. So that's about the basic concept about what is the CDS and the VDM. And uh, that's all about the tutorial. And if you have any question, please uh, uh, write in the comment box. I'll be happy to answer those. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe to SAP Learning Academy. And if you have liked the tutorial, you can like and share with your colleagues. And please look into my other tutorials. I've given the links in the video description. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you again with my next tutorial.